Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nyedika and today I just want to shed a little light on um, a parameter in the quantum analyzer, the QRMA, okay, a parameter under the cardiovascular and the cerebrovascular system. Okay, when you are using the quantum analyzer to diagnose your patient, uh, when you the very first parameter you see is the cardiovascular and cerebrovascular. So when it comes to using this device, um, the most important thing for you to master is interpreting results. Interpreting results. Okay, and in five to ten minutes, I can teach you how to operate the machine. So it's not only a test that is issue. Interpretation of results is very important and you need to learn that if you are consulting with the quantum analyzer device. Okay, so uh, I see the quantum analyzer as more of an intellectual exercise than practical. For those of us who want to learn how to use the quantum, be focusing on interpretation of results. Interpretation of results. Okay, if you master how to interpret results, then you'll be good in your practice. Not just learning how to operate or how to hold the test rod and run a test. That's very, very simple. Okay, so I'll just pick a parameter just to shed light. Okay, I'm talking on the stroke volume. Under the cardiovascular, you have about 15 parameters there. Blood viscosity, cholesterol crystal, blood fat, vascular resistance, vascular elasticity, myocardial blood infarction, Myocardial, myocardial blood perfusion volume, then we also have stroke volume, left ventricular effective pump power, left ventricular ejection impedance, and so on and so forth. But today, I just want to focus on stroke volume. Stroke volume. Just to shed a little light on stroke volume. I know many of us uh, uh, may have ignorantly told the patient, ah, you have stroke. When you see the result is on high, you say, ah, you have stroke. No, you don't. You don't conclude that way. You don't conclude that way. But uh, let me say that uh, the word stroke was borrowed from the terminology stroke volume. Okay, what do you mean by stroke? Uh, I will, in layman's English, uh, I would like to use a a bicycle or a motorcycle as a perfect example. Okay, when you see the word stroke, it's talking about cycle. When you ride a bicycle, this is one stroke, second stroke, third stroke, fourth stroke. Okay, so a complete cycle is a stroke. A complete cycle is a stroke. See, let me show you one trick about the quantum analyzer. Just follow the words by the term. By the English term, just follow those parameters by their words. If you can just go to the dictionary and understand those terminologies used for those parameters, then you are halfway solving your, your questions about those parameters. Okay, so when it says stroke volume, stroke volume, dealing with the heart, cerebrovascular cerebrum vascular vascular means vessel okay so that is monitoring uh, the blood vessels of the cerebrum cardiovascular is talking about monitoring vessels of the heart blood vessels of the heart okay back to stroke volume okay this parameter is trying to measure the volume of blood that leaves the heart to the rest part of the body okay Normally, when blood enters into the heart, the outer, the biggest part of the heart, the outer, okay, it leaves the heart through the left ventricular pump, carrying oxygenated blood, carrying um, blood containing oxygen. Trust me, oxygen is very, very important to reach every part of our organs, tissues, and cells. Okay, that is why blood circulation, in fact, most times, most diseases has its root cause to a compromise in the circulatory system. So that's why this is very important. So the heart 
he is expected to uh, supply a quite an amount of blood out of the heart, carrying oxygen and nutrients to the brain and to the rest part of the body. And so the stroke volume is a parameter in the quantum analyzer that measures the volume of blood that leaves the heart. Actually, not all the blood that enters the heart should leave the heart under normal circumstances. Only two thirds of blood that leaves that, that enters the heart should leave the heart to the rest part of the body and to the brain. Okay, so a situation whereby more than two thirds of the blood that enters the heart leaves the heart, then that is when the result will show you mildly abnormal high, moderately abnormal high, severely abnormal high. Why is that so? Because the heart is working too hard, trying to pump more than it's expected. That mechanism is faulty. And also a situation whereby the volume of blood that is leaving the heart is less than two thirds, it is also a problem. It means there's a, there's a, there's a faulty, uh, the, the, the heart pump is faulty, the mechanism is faulty. And so it means there's a limitation in the accurate supply of blood, in the accurate supply of oxygen and nutrients. And so when there are shortages of supply, you start having all manner of uh, malnutrition. And so when certain minerals and vitamins ought to get to different parts of the body, they are already short in supply, then the body becomes vulnerable to all manner of uh, sickness compromise. Okay? So that's why it's very important that the blood supplies to thought that comes in out of the heart, just to talk, not more, not less. That is what stroke volume is all about. Measuring the amount of blood, the volume of blood that leaves the heart in one heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. That's what, in one stroke, in one cycle, in one heartbeat. That is what stroke volume is all about. So whether it is on the high side or on the low side, that mechanism is faulty. It will lead to life-threatening problems. Okay? When it is on the low side, it can be leading to heart failure when it's on the high side. It can actually also lead to stroke and uh, other high blood pressure and other heart-related problems. Okay, so I just wanted to shed a little light about stroke volume. If you want to learn more about how to interpret results with the, NL uh, with the quantum analyzer, then come for my training coming up sometime in May, Cubic Healthcare Academy. Just watch my space. And I will keep updating you when we have confirmed dates and venue. I will let you know. But just continue to watch this space. It's very important for you to, if you if if you use the quantum analyzer, it is very important for you to come and learn how to interpret test results with this device, so that you become an effective consultant in your a consultant in your practice. Thank you.